Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are combining the power of object detection and image segmentation all in one Python workflow. We will start by using the YOLO V11 model to detect objects in images. Not only to do we get bounding boxes, but we actually use those detection to generate segmentation mask based on SAM2, the segment anything model from Meta. As always, we will start with a demonstration. Uh, let's see the code and let's run it and you will see the result in this. Let's run a short demo and explain what we are going to do today. First of all, we take uh, two images. This is the first, the first image. As you can see, two women. One is a, a, a bigger person and one is a, a more long distance so it's a smaller uh, person so we have two person in this two persons in this image and a second image this is the second image of four persons and we would like to use the same two along with uh, ultralytics for uh, doing an object detection and after that we will grab the bounding boxes and use it for the uh, segment anything to segment those person so this would be the code and uh, the code is divided to two parts the first part is dealing with the object detection and the second part is dealing with the segmentation and after that we are displaying the result let's run it and it will be more clear let's wait a few more seconds and here are the two images and here we are grabbing also the two masks so let's start with the first one and you can see here so you can see on the right side this is the original image with the object detection and we are using those uh, uh, two bounded boxes to uh, do the segmentation process let's close it and now you can see the second image once again you can see here we have uh, on the right side the original image with four persons and on the left side we can see the binary mask so this is what we are going to do today and we will start with the installation and after that we will do all the relevant coding Let's start with the installation. I will only do a short uh, brief. It's very similar to my previous uh, video. So first of all, we we'll create a new Conda and fresh environment. And let's name it YOLO V11 311. And it will be based on Python 3.11. So this is the first command. You should run it on your Anaconda prompt. After that, we should activate this environment so we can uh, run through some more installation. And the first installation is installing PyTorch. In this specific tutorial, I will use PyTorch 2.5.0. And that is the command for installing the PyTorch under the CUDA 12.4. So the CUDA 12.4 is a piece of software that is relevant for uh, those of you who, um, who have a, a GPU card and in each GPU card, uh, basically you should install the CUDA software. And in order to find what is your CUDA version, you should run this command nvcc minus minus version in the command prompt of the, the same uh, Anaconda prompt and after that you will discover what is your CUDA version probably it's 11.x or 12.x as I mentioned earlier mine is 12.4 and then go to the PyTorch website go to the section for previous uh, versions and find the PyTorch 2.5.0 section and other that you can find an installation for a non-GPU card like a CPU card and also for 11.x and for 12.x. So this is the specific command for installing the PyTorch in the 12.4. Uh, 
after that we should install ultra liquid the package that contain the yolo uh, v11 and in this specific tutorial i'm using this version 8.3.59 i believe it will work in your version but if you would like to get the same results please install this version after that we should install OpenCV and this is the version that definitely works with this Ultralytics uh, library so as you can see here I am using 4.10.0.84 and after you finish the installation of course you should also uh, update or uh, change your current environment in the VS Code to this new environment so in order to do that you should press Ctrl, Shift and P and then choose the first row here, select interpreter and you will get the list of all the environments that were installed in uh, your local machine and I'm looking for this one, YOLO V11 311 this is the, the new environment that uh, we just created so you should click here and now you're working with this environment that already contain PyTorch, Autolytics and OpenCV after you finish the installation. Great, so now let's continue to the next step. So let's start coding. First of all, let's create a new and fresh Python file. Let's name it how to detect and segment uh, objects using uh, let's say sam2 and ultralytics.py of course and we will start first let's import all the libraries we're going to use we've got ultralytics for yolo and sam and opencv for image handling and numpy for array manipulation now let's load our YOLO v11 model. This will be our object detector that find objects before we segment them. Next we list the image path we want to process. Those are the two images. I'm using two sample images for this demo. So let's copy and paste the path for those two images. This is the first image. Since in this tutorial I'm using Windows, I'm changing the direction of the slashes. Next, we load the images using the OpenCV, and this will give us image arrays we can feed into the YOLO model. Now, um, after printing the starting se starting session, now we, we run object detection using YOLO and all our images. The model returns results that include bounding boxes, labels and more. Let's extract the bounding boxes from YOLO's output and convert them into an XYXY format. And uh, this is the format uh, SAM2, the segment anything model expect x1 y1 x2 y2 for each of the boxes and the last phase in the detection let's print the bounded boxes to the console just so we can see what yolo found this is an optional step, but, but it will be very helpful to see the progress of, the, of what we found in the detection. So let's run the code and this phase one is dealing with the object detection. We are not dealing yet with the segmentation. So now we are expecting that the model will cover those two images and extract the bounding box. So let's run it and let's see the result. Okay, we 
first of all let's look at the log you can see here that in the first image it discover the model discover um, two uh, two bounding boxes let's start with this one okay the first image we have two persons and in the second image we have five persons so in the first image we have two bounding boxes in a format of xy xy that means these two points are the first xy of the rectangle and this one is the second the second point of the rectangle and in this image we have five persons so we're expecting to see five bounding boxes let's go to the images this is the first image you can see we have one person here and another person here this is the probability of the detection and in the second image we have four persons but we can see that it discovered five persons so we have a, a one person that is not relevant uh, I believe that it will not interfere us in the second step very interesting why uh, it discovered um, two person if we look at this person we can see the first bounding box and this is the second bounding box we cannot see the probability but if we will get a, a higher value maybe we can reduce the the false the false one let's start the the segmentation uh, step we will import the sam2 model from ultralytics and this will be our segmentation pipe a uh, segmentation part of the pipeline we will use those bounding boxes and try to segment the objects in the two images so let's load the sam 2.1 model checkpoint as for now this is the the latest weights uh, version you can double check in the same uh, website if there is a newer one you will see that the, it's doing a great job uh, on segmentation processes uh, let's uh, print a message uh, to keep track while we are running and this would be our starting point for the segmentation now we look through each image and run SAM2 with the corresponding bounding box. The result would be a list of segmentation masks for each image. The segmentation mask will be stored, the, the result would be stored under the, the same underscore results array. And as you can see, we are running through all the images and running the model for each of the image as sending the bounding box as an argument for uh, for the model and after that let's define a, a helper function that converts the segmentation mask into a single binary mask this will help us to visualize everything cleanly in a black and white image so we will load each of the images get the image uh, shape and we will create a mask of a blank image with the same uh, dimensions uh, it will be a masked image with zeros and then we'll iterate over the result check if a mask is available and convert the mask to numpy array uh, convert the mask to to white and uh, black it will be a, a binary image and combine the mask into a one image and the function will return the final binary image finalizing the function now let's process each image result we will uh, create the binary mask and display it using matplotlib mat uh, 
we will not run through all the results and create the binary mask uh, using our uh, previous uh, function. And uh, next we will uh, display the, the binary mask, of course it's a grayscale uh, image. And uh, just a, a nice visual confirmation that the segmentation worked. Let's give a, a title, the name for the window, and let's display it. Now let's run the code and see the result. I'm expecting to see the segmentation, but first of all, the step number one, which is the object detection and grabbing the bounding boxes. So this is the first image, we can close it. We saw it earlier, and this is the second one. Now you can see that we are downloading the same two weights and after that we will use the bounding box for segmentation. So let's wait a few more seconds. Here are the segmentation, here are the results of the segmentation and we have the first image, you can see this is the image and the image contained two persons. This is the first person and this is the second person. Let's close this image. And this is the second person, second uh, image. You can see we have here four uh, persons and four segmentation. So basically very good result. And that concludes this tutorial. You are most welcome to subscribe my channel.